I want to show you how to add micro content to your RoboHelp output and how that output is going to improve your search feature. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my output panel and I'm going to generate some frameless output. I'm going to show you what this looks like when it gets done outputting. All right, let's go ahead and view the output. And on the search tab, I'm going to search for a term. Do I get administrative leave? And I'll press enter. And some topics pop up that contain the words administrative, contain the word leave, but the question wasn't answered. Microcontent is going to help me resolve that. So I'll close my browser. I'm going to go to the author tab. I'm going to open up microcontent. And I'm going to make some new micro content. I'll call the micro content leave. Click done. I'll put my intended question into the intent box. And my response is yes. This kind of leave is awarded each quarter. One day is earned to a maximum of six days. Okay, simple enough, I'll save. Now I'm gonna to go to my table of contents and I'm gonna add that micro content to my table of contents. Now my intention is not to include this content on the table of contents. So I'm going to end up hiding it. So I'm just going to drag it right in here to the leave and vacation folder just to have RoboHelp generate it. And over here on the content properties, I'm going to click hide in output and I'm going to save. Now I'm going to go back to my output. I'm going to generate my frameless output. I'm going to right click and view the output. And on the search tab again, I'm going to put in the same exact question and press enter. And this time the micro content pops up and answers my question. How cool is that? So micro content, think about adding it to your RoboHelp projects.